Okay, today we're going to show you how to set up an acoustic guitar or slide, bottleneck slide plane. This is a FPX 300 Yamaha that I've used in practically most of my videos and a lot of my backing tracks and I used it for a slide a good bit. Uh, if you check out the playlist on bottleneck slide tunes or instrumentals, you'll see and hear this guitar in action being used for bottleneck slides. But today we're going to show you how to set it up for bottleneck slide. At least this is the setup that I use uh, when I'm using a uh, bottleneck slide guitar. And I use a nut extender. And this is made out of metal. This part is going to be laying over top of the nut and facing the fretboard. And it's got slots in here from thick to thin, which is your low E string and your high E string. And you're going to slide it underneath the strings, and we'll show you how to do that. Uh, it's good to have a string winder because your strings need to be totally without tension or as little as possible you don't want them to come undone so you don't have to redo strings uh, and be able to lift it up over the nut extender which I'm doing here as you can see and I'm lifting up a couple strings at a time and sliding it underneath I'm not worried about getting it in the slot quite yet. Just keep working them over. And using a nut extender saves you from replacing the nut or doing any shaving of the bridge. That way, if you like to use the guitar as a standard guitar, you, know, you can without too much problem just by loosening the tension and sliding the nut extender back out. And we'll get it lined up. And this neck on this guitar is wide enough. It's a finger style guitar, steel string finger style guitar. So the nut extender doesn't hang over. Uh, on a standard guitar with a smaller neck, uh, sometimes it extends a little bit over top to be able to widen up the string width. But with this neck, uh, width of the fretboard works out perfectly using this nut extender. So there it is, it's in place pretty easy and we're just going to tighten up the low E string first making sure that the nut extender doesn't shift from side to side and pull but that's an easy fix all you got to do is line it back up want enough tension on the IE and low E to be able to keep it in place as we start tightening up the rest of the strings. And we're not going to worry about it being in tune yet. We're going to fine tune it here with a tuner, of course, as I have it attached already so that I can... And I'm tuning this, when I start tuning it, I'm going to tune it to a open D, which is D, A, D, F sharp, A, and D, from low to high. Once I do this, you know, I'll keep it set up like this for a while and work on slide stuff. And then, like I said, just loosening the strings and sliding that back out will get you back to standard tuning or standard guitar playing. So now that we got it tension on the strings, we're going to start bringing it up to, to our tune.
you stretch your strings out too. on the other strings. Uh, you can go back and adjust. up with a nut extender to be able to play a bottleneck slide. Give you nice straight and height. Uh, you can still finger if you do some fingering with your bottleneck slide. I really don't too much um, once in a while but most of the time it's just straight slide work. So tune in next time as we go over selecting different bottlenecks or bottleneck slides to use depending on what song, what tune, things like that that you want to do. Till next time, stop by Bottleneck Slide.